camp money to Harris. Oh my God, I can't believe her. No, look, I told her to give both of you money and she said only one of you could get it. And Harris is really struggling lately. Oh, really? I hadn't heard. It's just the only thing you ever talk about. <laughs> you're such a sucker for all our BS. Wait, wait, I understand why you're mad, honey. Okay, but this is a really critical moment for Harris. She's finally figured out what she wants to do with her life after being lost for so long. Okay, let me make sure I understand. I came to you saying all I ever hear is poor Harris, poor Harris. And you defended yourself by saying poor Harris. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I just heard it. Uh -huh. <laughs> but you know what? Maybe you can go next summer. I can save a little, and I, I bet they have scholarships. You're so smart and talented, I am sure that you'll qualify. You always say that I'm so smart and talented and that things will work out. What if they don't? You never think about me. Oh my, Mark, of course I do. Harris doesn't even need tattoo school. Tell her to make more pot cookies. That she can go to prison and learn how to make tattoos there. <laughs> you don't go to prison for weed anymore, idiot. What's your problem? Mom told Nana Bev to give you my money. Really? Oh, thanks, Mom. <laughs> I'm used to not getting things I deserve, but this is the first time I've had something and you've taken it away. You know, you've been out here working on that bike since 1988. Is it ever going to be done? It's not about finishing. It's about the zen of, oh, how should I put this? Not talking to you guys. <laughs> DJ told us you left the poker game last night because the guys were going on about you having sex with Louise. If I had done paper instead of scissors, Darlene would be here. It wasn't about that that's not why i left oh thank god so what's going on the guys were talking about how bad i screwed up and they're right i miss her okay i miss louise that's not a bad thing yes it is because every time i think about the things i'd be doing with her going to concerts bowling a few games anything fun i feel guilty because i was supposed to be doing that with her mom so are you worried that mom is somehow watching you and if she sees you happy with someone else, she'll be angry or something? Because she'd want you to be happy. Oh, no, no, no. She made it very clear that if she went first, she wanted me to be miserable for the rest of my life. That does sound like her. She's here. A paint can? That's not mom. Mom's more of a... Shovel to the head kind of gal. I thought it'd be easier as time went on. It's not. Yeah, I get it. I went through something like this after I lost Mark. Right now, you think Mom's not really dead. She's just not here, and she might walk through that door any time. You're afraid that if you commit to Louise, you'll be admitting that mom's gone forever. I know she's gone forever. Why don't you find out where Louise's band is playing and go see her? I messed up pretty bad. I'm not even sure she'd want to see me. I, you know, maybe she misses you too. There's only one way to know for sure. Well, I do know where she is. Along with six other Louises. <laughs> hey, one of them has a taco stand I might hit up on the way out. Why is my bag sitting on the porch? <laughs> it wouldn't fit in the fireplace. <laughs> What did I do now? You threw me under the bus with Mark. Why would you tell him about our conversation? I thought he deserved to know. I, I can't believe I trusted you to keep this between us. God, it's so easy to be taken in by you when you're not wearing your Dalmatian puppy coat. <laughs> I trusted you first. You knew I didn't want the lunchbox to go to Jackie and you gave it to her anyway. 
Oh, my God. So you told Mark just to punish me? Did you ever stop to think for one second what that might do to him? There's no reason for hysterics. <laughs> After all that, you're still giving the money to Mark? Of course. I know which horse to put my money on, and it's not the horse tattooing other horses. <laughs> so you made Mark hate me? And then after getting Harris's hopes up, I have to break her heart? Well, clearly you've handled the situation poorly. Get out of my house! You don't have a house, Darlene. It's Dan's house. And I won't leave until Dan tells me to. Dan, here's what happened. Get out. <laughs> Oh, can everyone sit down for a moment? There's something I need to discuss with all of you. I am thinking of settling the score with Grandma Bev. I'm in. I'll get the shovel. <laughs> I, I still have her power of attorney until Monday morning, so I'm going to pull $5,000 out of this account and give it to Harris. All I need to do is click this button. Am I doing the right thing? Absolutely not. There's no reason to stop at 5,000. Clean her up. No, I'm just taking enough to make this right. Let's make it so right, she's got newspaper shoes. Hey, criminal masterminds, keep your voices down. Why are we ripping off Nana Bev? Because she was never going to give you the money. It was always going to Mark. <sighs> wow. I'm just evening things up. Well, I appreciate the sentiment, but it's not worth going to jail for. You are a little small for women's prison. <laughs> yeah, they would pass me around like a bag of popcorn. <laughs> it's just not fair the way she treated you. I mean, she deserves to be punished. We need to be above this. Two wrongs don't make a right. Don't listen to her. She's a child. <laughs> She doesn't understand how the world works. Eye for an eye. Hit the button, Darlene. No, 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 no. I'm not going to do that. I want her to know that I forgive her. She's my Nana. I want to become her friend, earn her trust. And then, once she leaves me everything in her will, I'll take her for a stroll in her wheelchair. <laughs> and as I slowly push her into Lake Michigan, I'll whisper that her wheelchair backpack is filled with bricks. Paris, you're mad and you're not thinking clearly. You don't need to work that hard. She can't swim. Hey, how was Model UN? It's hopeless, even on a model level. I have something for you. Oh, great. I hope Harris likes it. Just look at it. I thought Harris was getting the money. Nana Bev was always going to give it to you. She was just mad at me, and you got caught in the middle. So nothing for Harris? Or Harris. Now I'm saying it. <laughs> See, it comes very naturally. Listen, I heard what you said earlier, and you're right. You know, you're doing so great that that's probably why I don't pay enough attention to you all the time. So if you could jack a car or rob a liquor store or something, remind me you're around. Super funny, Mom. I really am proud of you, you know, for getting in that camp and for how hard you work. I never mean to take that for granted. I'm sorry. Hey, can I get a hug? I'm not going to hold a grudge because that's not healthy, but I'll hug you when I'm ready. <laughs> Yeah, I, I know Louise. I'd like to say hi. Yeah, all right. <laughs>